Welcome, everyone, to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Oh, man, it is snowing here in northern Utah again. Uh, so far today, I think we've gotten about five inches on top of all the previous snow that we've had. It feels like it has been snowing for about a week straight. It'll stop overnight, and then for whatever reason during the day, it decides to snow again. So, my wife's not happy. She's at work. She hates driving in the snow. And I didn't take her to work today, so... I guess she's gonna not be happy driving home. So, if you live somewhere where it's snowing, hopefully you enjoy the snow. If you're living somewhere where it's not snowing, you're probably pretty happy that you're not getting snow at this point. If you want to see what it looks like, outside of my office window go check out my Instagram I've got a picture posted there I will put a link to my Instagram in the description but let's get into our email let's get started and see what we need to work on today we've got this one it looks like it is due tomorrow we've got this one that is also due tomorrow and this one that's also due tomorrow so let's start with this one it says what's up I heard you can overclock PCs. Can you have a look at mine? I love the look of custom water-cooled CPUs. I really want to get the CPU overclocked to 5200 megahertz. In terms of time, can you get it finished by tomorrow? Do you like cable modding? I saw some great braided green ones the other day. It's not as quick as it used to be, so I'm assuming he probably has some viruses. But let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's hop up here. So this one that's also due tomorrow, it says, My friend said you work with computers. Got a request for a new PC. My mate's PC benchmarks at 5920, so I need at least that. Can you do it by tomorrow? I'm a total Intel fanboy. I worry about used parts. So a budget of 2250 for a score of 5920. We can probably make that happen. Let's accept that one. And let's take a look at this one that is also due tomorrow says, my friend said you work with computers. I'm looking to pay for a new PC. I really want to be able to run GTA 5. I need it before tomorrow. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I would like new ones, please. I read that G-Skill parts are really good. So, let's go ahead and accept that one. So I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm gonna step away for a moment, get a build put together, and be right back. Alright, so, for this first one, he's wanting custom water cooling for his CPU. He has got a Silverstone RL07 in black, and a 9700K. So, hopefully, all these parts will fit. We're going to go with a EK block, an EK res, and a 280mm EK reservoir, or radiator, I'm sorry, for this one. For our next one here, this is going to be a full-on build, so I'm going to step away. I'm going to get a build put together for this one and be right back. Alright, so for this next build, we're going to go with the MSI Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon and i7-9700K. Uh, this is a new part that I just unlocked recently. It's the GamerStorm Castle uh, 280 RGB Liquid Cooler. We're going to put two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z 8 gig 3200 MHz. Uh, we're going to put a RTX 2070 Founders Edition, which might be the first, maybe the second time I'm building with this, uh, with a 2070 or a 20 series card. I'm going to put a 3 terabyte hard drive. I'm going to put a 480 gig ADATA M.2 drive, 550 watt power supply, and we're going to put that in the Corsair Carbide 275R in white. So we spent every bit of that guy's budget on this build. All right. So uh, lastly, I'm going to get a build put together for GTA 5. Let's pull up Will It Run. Where are you, GTA? There we go. And they want recommended spec. So there's what it's going to take to run GTA 5. This person wants G-Skill parts. So I think we can make all of that happen. I'm going to step away, get this build put together, and be right back. Alright, so for the GTA 5 build, 
We're going to go with a Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming Motherboard, an i7 8086K, an EVGA CLC 280, an AMD Radeon, what is that, 7? Uh, for the RAM, I'm getting two more sticks of G-Skill. Same stuff in the previous computer. We're going to go with a FSP Hydro G650. Uh, Patriot Scorch 512GB M.2 drive, 4TB Seagate Barracuda drive. And we're going to put that in the Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB. So hopefully this cooler will fit. I guess we will find out very shortly. So all this stuff has to be done by tomorrow. So let's do a next day delivery. We'll buy that. We'll do next day delivery on the water cooling part, so we will buy that. We will go end our day, get all of our parts in, and we can get to work. All right. So let's get our parts here. This should be the one for water cooling. Let's get these other two cases up on tables. Let's see, this one goes with Shimingway. S. Hemingway, I don't know. And this one will go with a Jane. Put our sticky note there. Let's see if we can make our water cooling parts fit in here and then overclock this computer. Let's get this stupid cooler out of the way. Let's get the front of this thing off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let's get thermal paste back on there. Let's go to our custom water cooling parts. We'll get our CPU blocks pulled up here. Get our EK block installed. Let's get our radiator in next, hopefully. At least I've got some other ones in stock if what I've chosen here doesn't work. Let's see. I'm wondering where the reservoir actually let's let's see where the where the reservoir is gonna connect. Hmm. Is that the only place that thing can go? Alright, let's put the res in. Let's see. See if this 280 mm, will will a 240. So this is a stupid place to mount this. You can't mount a radiator. Um, a 140 will work. But this guy really want. Let's see. Let's see. Once a braided green cables doesn't seem to really care. Um, you know what? Let's Let's just get a 140 in. Let's do same day. As I think part of the problem is this case. Hopefully this 140 will do the trick. I mean, he doesn't even have a rear fan. All right. Let's see here. May have to do a rigid, rigid tubing, but let's see. Let's go from there to there. Let's see if this will run. Let's get some coolant in there. Let's see, he's got some red. Hmm. Got orange, purple, red. Red opaque, maybe. Let's see what that. Oh, I've got to cable it up. What am I doing? Let's do...
do red for that. Let's go back to our coolant. Let's get coolant pumped through here. And hopefully this 140 millimeter radiator will let us get this thing to 5200 megahertz. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. All right, let's power it up. Let's hop into the BIOS. Let's just take this thing straight to 52. Care about that. Does he really not have like an M.2 or anything? I mean, he wants custom, expensive custom water cooling, and he's running off of a spinning hard drive, so don't know. Don't know about people sometimes. Let's get a USB drive in so we can get we can get our OCCT installed. And I believe he had some viruses, so let's get our virus scanner installed as well. Man, that's slow. What he should have upgraded is from his slow Slow hard drive. Let's restart. I mean, it's not crashing to a blue screen right away, so I guess... Uh, I guess we've got a chance that this will work. Let's fire this thing up. It doesn't take but a moment. See if it's going to explode. Or blue screen. 92, 93 degrees... If it doesn't blue screen, I'm going to call it good. Alright. I think we're safe. Let's close that out. Oh, maybe we didn't need to run. You know what? We're going to run this anyway. I don't know if it needed to be run or not. Looks like he has 459 infected files, so let's clean that up, too. Let's get this case put back together. We can get this off our workbench and out of our hair. All right. That doesn't look too bad for flexible tubing. We'll take it. Let's get this thing out in the hall. Let's move on to this build here. Get the side panel off. Let's take this other side panel off. Let's see. Let's go ahead. We'll just take everything off. Just everything. Everything's got to go. Let's get our motherboard in. The Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon. We'll get that screwed down. We will get it ready for RAM. And CPU. Get our 9700K in there. And we've got some G skill down here. That's going to go in there as well. Maybe we'll, whoops. Won't go in that one. Get that installed. Let's get some thermal paste on there. We'll get our cooler, which I believe is this Gamer Storm. I think that's the one I wanted to put in. If not, that's what it's getting anyway. Wow, that's like mirror. That's like a mirror on top of that thing. That's crazy. All right. This is going to get a 2070, so can I can I move this? Can I I don't even know what I'm clicking on. What? No. I'm I'm removing everything. Not even trying to. Let's let's get this back in here. I opened this thing up. I mean, I guess that's okay. It is going to get uh this A data 
M.2. But I wasn't trying to open that up. Still can't get over the mirror finish on that thing. We are also going to put in a three terabyte hard drive. Let's go ahead and get that in there. And our power supply. Which is this, a 550 watt. Get that installed too. Maybe I should have gotten one that was white. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get our 2070 in there. That's nice. Very nice. Let's cable this thing up with some white cables. All right. We can get our USB drive in. Let's see. No power. Oh, I think I got to put the front of this case back on. Front panel, cable, yep, that was it. Whoops, I'm pushing, there we go. I'm failing when it comes to clicking. All right, let's power this thing on. We can hop into our BIOS here. Let's turn our XMP on, make sure this is booting from the right drive. This thing has got all kinds of colors happening. Don't think we can change that one. Not too worried about it. Let's get 3D Mark on there. Let's get our lighting app on there. We'll let it restart. We'll see if we can fix the lighting, make it a little more pleasant. We'll just make it all white. I think I'm going the wrong way with that. You know what? Let's just drag it up there. Should be 255 all the way across the board, not zeros. I can live with that. All right. I'm going to get 3D Mark running as soon as I've got a score. I will be right back. All right, so there it is, 7504. I don't even remember what we needed to beat. 5920, so we definitely beat that. Let's get this case put back together so we can get this thing out in the hallway. Let's lock back on it. And the side panel. So that white light isn't nearly as bright as it was. I think that looks pretty okay. Let's get this thing out in the hallway. We can start working on this GTA 5 build. Don't think I've ever built anything in this case. I'm wondering... Oh, those are interesting. Can we put the cooler up in the top? Let's get our motherboard first. The Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming Motherboard. Get that screwed in. Let's get it ready for CPU and RAM. Let's see. CPU is going to be the 8086K. And the RAM. Some more G Skill a Trident Z. RGB. Get that installed. Let's get our thermal paste. Let's get our cooler. It's this EVGA CLC 280. No, the RAM's in the way. Why do companies make cases where they have things that can mount in the top and they don't actually give you space to mount? A radiator. I Man, I know every not everybody does liquid cooling. 
But you would think... They would make it so you can mount it up in the top. It's fine, though. Let's put that there in the front. Let's get a fan installed in the back. I don't even know what fans this thing had in it. Did it have Corsair fans? Because that seems like a real shame. Take out three nice Corsair fans. Oh, well. Okay, let's get our storage installed here. We've got the Patriot Scorch Drive going in. And I didn't take this side of the case off. But let's get our 4 terabyte hard drive installed. We'll get our graphics card, which is this AMD Radeon 7. And we will get our power supply, which is this FSP 650 watt. Let's cable this thing up. We've got some red in there. Let's put some red. Make it match the Radeon. I'm going to put this case back together a little bit. Let's see, does this go on top? Okay. Top panel. Did we add any buttons or anything? Let's see. This thing powers up. I want to hop into the BIOS. Make sure this is booting from the right drive. Actually, before I hit that restart button. Let's get a USB drive in here. Let's go ahead and apply the changes. I actually don't hate the way that turned out. Let's get these side panels on. That is not bad at all. All right, let's go put this out in the hall. Let's collect some money. Get this stuff out of our way. Only four stars. Come on now. Whatever. Let's collect this one. That's a five star. Let's collect this one. That's a five star. Unlock some new parts. Got some daily deals and some new emails, which we will work on in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next episode.